Let's get it. Boom. Tracy Willie checking in your tech. I don't know why going on. Welcome back to Tracy Willie Pure Abundance. If this is your first time tuning in, I appreciate you tuning in. We encourage, inspire, and uplift each other to keep evolving into the greatest versions of ourselves. And if you are a returning viewer, I appreciate you tuning back in. You already know what time it is. So let's get it. On this video, I'm going to be talking about why I don't celebrate holidays. This video is for anybody who's curious, but ultimately for my family because we I grew up celebrating holidays. That's what I was taught to do. So with that being said, then my family, for the most part, is still in the mentality that I celebrate holidays. So I don't take it personal when they tell me, happy this, happy that. We used to do that, so that's normal. But now I'm trying to tell y'all I don't do that anymore, so that's why I'm making this video. And I'm making this video so I can reach out to everybody in one video, for real. So let's get it. So why don't Tracy Wooly really celebrate holidays anymore? It's because it don't have no value. It don't have no sincere, genuine meaning behind it. And when you really look up, <laughs> when you really look up these holidays, you don't have to believe everything you see, you know? So listen to your soul. Whatever hits home for you, hits home for you. You feel me? Everything ain't for everybody. So when you look at these holidays, a lot of these holidays don't have no genuine, sincere meaning behind it. No value behind it. In fact, a lot of it stems from just wickedness, evilness. All of them, in my opinion, stand for, it, for it, evilness and wickedness. Including Christmas. For real. Christmas, this whole Santa Claus shit, all that, that's, that's, that's cap. It's actually stemming from somebody named Krampus, who was very, very, very... Y'all just gotta go into this, you feel me? It sounds very folktale, very fairy tale like so I don't wanna freak nobody, I don't wanna promote no fear, you feel me? But ultimately, every holiday have evil intentions. Every holiday is, is designed to keep you corrupted. It's designed to keep you trapped. It's designed to keep you dumb. It's designed to keep you under control. That's what holidays are for. I got a question for everybody who celebrate holidays, including my family too. Do you know how it started? Do you know what you're celebrating? We can start with Christmas, since it's, since it's Christmas today, because today is the 25th. So how did it start? Like what, what took place? See, because I did my research, did you? And that's what I'm trying to get to everybody. Stop being a sheep. You don't have to follow what everything, what everybody's saying. What I'm trying to tell you is just to question everything. Just because you question things don't make you crazy, bro. In fact, when you question things, you are very intelligent for questioning things. You know how people be like, oh, are you trying to be smart? <sighs> Didn't I tell y'all we, we are in a psychological war, we are on a spiritual war, and they use words as spells so you can spell each other's in a negative way. What do you mean, do I think? Nigga, hell yeah, I think I'm smart, nigga. Of course. Of course I want to be smart. You feel me? Shout out to Young Curl for that information, bro. No cap. Because I swear I really feel that shit. When a motherfucker asks you, are you trying to be smart? Nigga, what you want me to try to be dumb? I'm really open in my mind. I'm trying to... You get what I'm saying? And just because you boxed in and closed in and you got your beliefs and you don't want to believe nothing or nobody... Ah, ah, ah. Make me a bad person. Make me crazy because I'm open, nigga. Don't you know we are all expressions of one thing? So therefore, we all just have perspectives, we all have opinions, we all have a different angle, a different view of how we view something. So nigga, respect my view. Nigga, oh God, you ain't gotta respect it, but you gonna hear it, for real. So that's what I'm saying, a lot of these holidays don't really have no sincere, genuine meaning behind it. When you look it up, you're gonna be like, why the fuck was I celebrating that in the first place? That's why none of that makes sense. And since we own Christmas, let's stay right here. So y'all mean to tell me that you rather, you would like for a, a stranger, you would like for your child to sit on a stranger's lap and tell them what they want for Christmas. In fact, and, and they gotta be good all year because if they was bad or if they was naughty, then they not finna get nothing. Do y'all hear what y'all doing to y'all? Y'all are cursing them. Y'all are making them, f f then don't y'all tell them not to talk to strangers? Don't y'all tell them not to trust everybody or not to trust anybody? But then y'all fuck around and Christmas come around and y'all tell them, Go sit on this white man's lap. Go tell him what you want for Christmas. Even though I'm your parent, he's going to get you something for Christmas. Come on, cuz. Y'all lying to these kids, man. Do y'all know y'all kids smarter than y'all? Do you know kids are more pure than fucking adults? Do you know kids just came from the source? 
So therefore, from the age zero to seven, they're in a state of just pure blissfulness. They don't see color. They don't see age. They don't see none of that. So all that damaging y'all do to them, y'all create all types of weird ass people. So stop lying to your kids about all these fake ass holidays and tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. So then when they get when they get exposed to it and they find out that it's not true, you know, come on. So be real with yourself. Be real with your family. Be real with your kids. All that because we fucking up our kids psychologically. When I say it's a psychological war or it's a spiritual war, I mean in that you got a certain group of people on this planet that's evil as shit and wicked as shit that's using little tactics for people. Like how they say, like, what you, you trying to be smart? You think you a smart aleck type shit? That's one that they use to psychologically beat your ass up. Another one is like uh, all the hot Cheetos, all the food, all the access that you have, all to, to the easy access that you have to bad shit that kills you. Uh, you telling your daughter not to talk to strangers or you telling your kids not to talk to strangers, but then you double back on that and you tell them to, to go tell the stranger what you want for Christmas. Even though you you their parent and they supposed to be fucking with you and loving you and expecting you to be gifting them and shit like that. You feel me? Another psychological war uh, tactic is when your kids ask you for something, you feel me, and you what you think money grows on trees? You think I got it like that? Like, what are you doing to your child? You know what I'm saying? What are you doing to your child? You're limiting them. You feel me? Y'all, we need to listen to our ch our children more, bro. Right? They are more connected to the source than we are. So just understand that, bro. It's funny how I tied in holidays into into kids because on Christmas, aka this nigga Krampus with the little stocking caps and shit, that's actually something they used to use to stuff babies in that motherfucker. If y'all never heard of the word adrenochrome, go look that up. You feel me? Adrenochrome is blood that, that be in you that they drink, cuz. For real, and they really get a high off of it. These niggas is wicked and evil. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's just to be open, bro. We live in duality, bro. You know how there's really good ass people on this planet, like real sincere, genuine people, bro. There's the equivalent to that on the evil aspect, bro. That's all I'm saying. And ain't nothing to be, ain't nothing to be afraid of, or ain't nothing to be like, nigga, you tripping, like, nigga, you just don't want to believe it. You just don't want to be real with yourself. And I get it. You feel me? We all gonna wake up when we decide to. Like, we gonna all come to our senses when we decide to. So. Nigga, just, just use your mind, you feel me? So, that's my take on the holidays. Uh, just know what you're doing, you feel me? Uh, question everything till it makes sense to you. Uh, I encourage everybody. I'm not being pessimistic towards holidays. I love the fact how people can get together and for one cause. I just want to make sure that we get together for a good cause and not for a cause that nobody knows what we're celebrating. Like, think about it. It's just tradition. Oh, my family did it, so I'm going to do it. I got to... What the fuck? Why do you have a tree? Do y'all know y'all contributing to the problem on the planet? Nigga, we need trees outside. Leave them trees alone. Leave them trees alone. Think about how many trees get cut down for Christmas, bruh. Think about how many trees get cut down for Christmas. But y'all the same niggas complaining about the shit on the planet. See? See? I don't want to hear it. Me and trying to hear nothing. Nothing. Me and I hear nothing from nobody because everybody can... A lot of people contributing to the problem on the planet, but nobody want to do something about it. You feel me? So... Something that Ross Moore say is like, if you contribute into the problem, don't complain. Don't complain. I don't want to hear you complaining about nothing. About nothing about how the earth is. If you contribute into the problem, if you're doing a bunch of fuck shit that is very unrighteous, then don't complain about the state of the planet and how things are moving and how things are none of that. Because you ain't doing shit about it, you know? So... That's my take on holidays, family. I'm really there. I'm taking it there. We must understand taxes. We must know all this shit like the back of our hand. We must understand exactly what's going on around us so we can know how to move accordingly. You know, the, the information is obtainable. It's all there. We all connected to this. We are all on the same earth. We are sharing this motherfucker. So all the information is right there. It's just a matter of us getting it in our possession and really just being open to allowing that to come to us. So... Celebrate holidays if you want. I'm not bashing holidays. I'm not telling nobody not to celebrate it. I'm just asking you to question what you're celebrating, you know? Oh, God. Check out my video on celebration, too, because how I mentioned how celebrating can be a curse, how birthdays can be a curse, because it's just a form of how you're celebrating, what you're celebrating for, who are you celebrating, you know? So tune into your truest self. Tune into your highest powers. Choose love. Uh, let, love and guide, let love guide you, uh, not fear. Uh, one family, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Enjoy the rest of y'all moments. Keep being great. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe because this information is valuable and I would love for it to reach millions of people because I'm reaching people in my sleep. Check the description.
for the merch. Check the description for the music that you can find on any music streaming platforms. You can book a consultation with me, and you can reach out to me on any uh, streaming, any social media if you got a question for me. Uh, also, you can stay tuned for the series that I drop on this YouTube channel. It's called What's Your ID? Where I just bring, I interview people on their intelligence and discipline so we can gather up more valuable information to share to people so they can benefit from it. And then we also got the IG lives. I'll be going live on IG and then I'll re-upload it onto the YouTube. But besides that, I appreciate y'all. Keep being great. I expect great things to happen for you because you choose what you want to experience. I love y'all. Let's do it. Tracy Willie checking out your check. I don't know what going on. Easy. Yes, sir. Ooh -wee. Yeah, yeah. You want to know why I do that? Thank you for asking. I'm going to tell you right now. Because my balance is high. You know your balance, like your check balance. You know when they be like, what's on your balance? What's in your balance? What's on your card? Like they, they put that, that word is balance, you know? So when you, when somebody asks you what's your balance, you psychologically, ooh, it's another psychological war tactic. So uh, with, with your balance, when you check your balance on your phone and somebody asks you what's your balance, whether it be your significant other, somebody you love, or even you just checking it yourself, you identify with that balance. Whatever is in that card, whether it's $2, negative $2, $500, or a million dollars, you associate with that. You act as if that's what you are for the most part, naturally until you really become conscious of what you're doing. So you naturally identify with that. So then that's another curse because if you got negative $2 in there, guess how you're going to be feeling? Like a negative two-ass nigga. You feel me? That's why I identify with infinite. I am infinite. I accumulate infinite wealth. I experience infinite health. I inspire infinitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't put a cap on it. And my balance right here is always on yes, sir. Ooh, -wee. It's on some high, high, high shit. It's on some infinite shit. So easy. Easy, family. I love y'all. Keep taking care of y'all, man. Easy.